Capricorn, I am guided to tell you that you are getting a break in the month of April. A lot of you have been going through some unbelievable things and those things have been causing blockages and maybe feeling out of balance, out of sorts, and even showing up in your materialistic side of life. But the beautiful message is you have spiritual blessings coming in for you and this is in the month of April. So let's look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Capricorn right now. So you guys, I hope you're doing really well and this message is very, very powerful for you. Remember, if you are seeing this video, it was put through to you so that you could catch one or more messages for you or somebody around you. And what they're showing me, Capricorn, is like you have been through all kinds of things. I'm seeing like little explosions, okay? And I mean like, you know, like uh, something went upside down. This one had a lot of turbulence around it. This one may have had betrayal around it. But there is a partnership coming in. Now, this does not mean romantic. It can be a new job. It can be a new beginning in any area of life. Because this spiritual blessing is coming right down here on earth. So I love this for you. It's a very strong message. We're going to take a look as we go forward. But the one card that came out for you is the Fool card. This is about everything that you've learned. You've done the research. So that little problem over here you researched it you found out what it meant this over here you either turned your back to this one or you dove in to try and rectify and fix that so that it worked in your favor and most of you on all sides i don't see you being one-sided in the situations that you've been through although it may have felt like it was one-sided everything that happened around you in your life over the last two dash three years has been very powerful to help you transform in your own spiritual awakening journey and capricorn right now the blessings are coming in so we have this mercury and retrograde coming on the first of april we're dealing with the energy of clearing out from the full moon in march which just happened on the 25th now Remember, Mercury in retrograde brings back things from the past. That does not mean that you're going to relive it unless you choose to. You have a choice in this matter because the new moon on the 8th and the solar eclipse is going to help boost you into this new beginning, this new path, and this beautiful spiritual blessings that I see coming down for Capricorn. So all the things that you've been through are learning lessons for this moment and a lot of you have definitely said yes i'm learning tell us what it was what was it that made you see that enlightenment was it self-value was it getting rid of the people around you leave us a comment capricorn you have the page of swords when it comes to career and projects and that's what we're going to look at now then we'll look at family and friends and of course romance at the very end i'll give you your guided message now, remember, I am guided through the whole thing, but that'll be specifically to help grow you through this period and move with these energy shifts that are all around because they really are going to feel, um, I don't want to do this. <laughs> and you're going to have to fight to go forward. You've got information coming in from out of the blue, especially when it comes to a, uh, a new opportunity, starting a new career path, meeting up with people who are in your line of work they're in your industry. Some of you are going to be recognized as you go through this period of time, but whatever you're dealing with, they're saying, take a look at it, analyze it, look for what you need to pull out. Okay. Now this page of swords, may be somebody that you're dealing with could be a Libra, Aries, or a Gemini. However, whoever this individual is, I feel there's some, um, they're mentally immature when it comes to work and they may be putting you in a position where you are questioning what's going on. Now, I feel there's a little bit of icky around this person for some of you that you were dealing with in the past, but they brought you the lessons. And that's what Mercury in retrograde is going to do. What did you learn from that? What did you learn from every job, from every level of position, whatever it was you were doing? 
you have a new opportunity coming in. Now, if you're working on projects, something around you, and I do see some of you, well, let's look at the career right now. They're showing me it does have to do with law. You may be in contract documentation. This is your niche, and it doesn't matter really which it is, but your forte has to do with writing out. It can be a writer for some of you, but I see it more around the law, okay? The legal aspects of it. Pulling permits for a construction company, uh, uh, creating human resources, the documentation for human resources. So I feel this particular vision is talking about somebody who creates and generates those documents. Now, when it comes to your careers, uh, your projects, these are things that you devote your time to. You've got the Ace of Cups beautiful energy this is that spiritual blessing coming down right here on earth and it's going to be emotionally attached to you some of you this does have to do with clean water cleaning the water this may be water filtrate filtrate systems <laughs> maybe you're producing something or start selling something that has to do with filtering water the other has to do with um, big plants, like water plants, okay? So it definitely has something to do with cleaning up water. You have the beautiful card of the Empress. This is a new beginning, giving birth to something new in the project. doesn't matter if it's career or a project that produces no actual income. It is the right time, and it is the right blessings coming in for the Capricorns who are done with that old cycle you can look back in your memory and say oh i remember that i remember that and use it to your advantage now because everything we go through in life become a lesson as long as we detach the negative uh experience that may have been with that learning lesson right the, the lesson is overcoming it we're here in the spiritual journey to overcome the light and the dark, Capricorn, and I know a lot of you have done it. And there are some that are in the process of doing it, but this is that moment, no matter where you're at in your journey, you will be making a decision and the universe is going to help you go forward or stay exactly where you are. It's up to you what you do. But this is beautiful energy coming through. Remember the word abundance means what you want when you need it. So it's having joy back in your home, having the balance, work-life balance, not overworking, not working for um, <clears throat> unhealthy industry, unhealthy areas that don't coincide with your beliefs. <clears throat> Some of you have something to say, okay? In your work environment, you have something that you need to express. And that's why you're being guided to analyze this situation. It may be time for you to start your own business. For some of you, you will definitely be doing that. Now, let's take a look at your family and friends because I do feel for some of you, this negative person may actually not be somebody in your work environment. It may be somebody that you trust in your own personal world all around you. Where, you know, I feel whoever this family member is really, uh, it's like strong arm. I see a strong arm. So they may have tried to challenge you to make changes, but they definitely created a tower moment, a wake up from a shake up, right? And that's what has taken place. And some of you, it is coming, but most of you, you've already experienced it. Now, remember, everything in life that you've been through shows you just how strong you really, really are. You got some great cards here when it comes to family. I'll show you the whole clump fell out. We have the seven of wands. This is setting up boundaries, protecting you from whoever this person was that created the shakeup in your world. This person may have cast a bunch of lies. They may have put it in writing on email, on social media is what I'm seeing. Um, uh, I'm not going to name the social media. You know how you connected with them. And, and it really brought a lot of pain. Okay, so it affected your heart chakra. It affected your emotional body inside of you where it, it kept you stuck and you couldn't hear your guided messages. Each of you have a guide around you, a spiritual being, whatever you want to call it, an angel. You have a guide that has been with you since you were born to help you persevere, to help you see with clarity, to help you hear 
the truth around you. And that's an important aspect as we go forward. You have the world card and you're starting a new, a new chapter where those boundaries are going to be very important. You have the two of swords and the six of wands as well. So whoever this family member is, you know, again, I feel they kind of sabotaged your one, your belief system two, your self value and three actually may have walked into your office, called your office, wherever you were working or the project you were working on, they created chaos, some type of information they shared that injured you somehow. It prevented you from getting the, the grant, the scholarships, the um, contributions to uh, open up a nonprofit organization. Your guides are telling me that they really hurt you and it kept you in this Two of Swords energy. Now remember, Mercury in retrograde does not mean you have to talk to this person. So anybody that posts that, please correct them right in the comment, okay? It is the memory. It is the experience. And that's what's happening as we move into this Mercury in retrograde energy. And it is a very powerful one. Because if we don't move past it, we're probably going to go into another cycle of a repetitive cycle. And nobody wants to relive pretty much most of what we go through. Even if it's good experiences, we still want new good experiences. Good for us. Whatever suits our life, our lifestyle. You're going to move forward past this with victory, okay? And again, you're getting spiritual blessings right here on earth. That is in all areas of your life. It isn't just in one. April is going to be very, very important for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Capricorn. So let's take a look at your um, romance because for some of you, this is a person around you that was your romantic partner. Had to do with your love life. It had to do with maybe somebody you were dating. They created the havoc. They may have shown up at your office all the time and you got in trouble for it. Something that sounds so minor, but yet really can impact us in a way I don't want to date anymore. I got my 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 booty kicked out work because of this situation. I've had it happen. Have you had that happen where somebody you love comes in romantic or otherwise and causes something, some kind of a, a ruckus in your environment? where you were hanging out whether you were getting paid or not so you guys you know whoever this person is there's this um feeling of distrust around this individual if they created the tower around you there is a feeling of distrust you have the eight of swords all right the tarot is saying the eight of swords which is feeling stuck and trapped in this situation Again, there's like this um, turmoil around this in individual that uh, uh, creates poor communication. They may be very, very immature in the way that they connect to you on an emotional level and don't speak clearly. They don't explain themselves. They don't open up. They don't share. And some of them may be holding old anger that has nothing to do with you. The lines of communication are going to be brought back open. Now, this isn't just with your partner. This is with the universe coming down. Remember, they're going to send you the blessings. Whatever you need to do with this individual, your partner, this person who has caused some type of havoc to your relationship. The universe is saying it's time to pull the lesson and literally let it go. And you will not be looking back at it again. Meaning you're able to talk about it without getting angry. You are able to pull the lesson out of it and say, I can do that. I can do that. I will not do that again. And it has nothing to do with blaming it on anyone else. It's accountability. So it's seeing the truth all around you and taking responsibility for our part in it. When we do that, we begin to co-work with the universe. And that's what you want to do in this period of time. So there's one more. Uh, here we go. You, you know, those of you who are single, and if you're leaving your partner, you, you definitely are going to have an option between two different people. Now, for some of you, that is staying in your relationship or going out and looking for a new relationship, severing ties, because I feel the tower has a lot to do with this romantic situation. 
there's something about this person that really keeps you stuck and indecisive. And I feel they create a lot of confusion around you where it is difficult for you to see forward, see into the future, go beyond where you are now. And when I say confusion, that doesn't mean, oh, I'm weird up here. That means they may say something that doesn't match their actions. They may blame you for their failures or what they feel is a failure. I recently had a client who did that. They called, they said that their partner is angry. And I can see from my angle, everything that's going on in a remote view with that person. I see the anger. I feel it. This person is deeply, deeply angry. And that will create a tower. That will create somebody to be stuck in this Eight of Swords energy. And she definitely was stuck. Because she loves that person. And that person says they love her. But yet they blame her for every, every mistake that happens. The inability to find a job. The job they get isn't good enough. Has a lot to do with finances in that particular situation. But whatever's going on around you, your person may have really created that turmoil to the point, even if you leave them, you may be doubting yourself going, I don't know if I want a relationship right now. If you want joy and happiness, ask the universe for it because it's going to come in whether you want it or not. Now, if you're single or leaving a relationship like that, you are absolutely 100% available. You have the page of wands and the four of wands. This is taking action to create the type of relationship that you actually want. Creating a dating environment where you're able to figure out intuitively if they're the right person. Using micro vibes, as in my book, to get through that and you will be able to see the unspoken. It is a powerful message when it comes to Capricorn's romantic endeavors in the month of April. It is all about you starting something new and going further if you've already started it going further and getting into that groove of going beyond no matter what you have encountered in your life so it's really a big deal now the overall message for capricorn for the month of april is your guides are saying that you have been well they definitely <laughs> they're saying you have definitely been through a lot and we already know that, but you are literally coming through an end of a cycle, okay? So the, all those experiences that you went through, the universe is saying, it's time to move forward. We cannot change the past. We can only be in the present and have faith of a vision that we create for the future. That's part of the manifesting, is seeing the future and having faith that it's going to come through. Listen to your guides. Listen to the universe. The synchronicities around you are going to be three, four, five in numbers. Okay, that number is going to come through, which is a progressive number. It means going from here, here, and here. Very, very great number for the sign of Capricorn. But as you pull those swords out, which many of you already have, you turn that into the ace of swords. Authenticity. And that is what your guides are saying. Be authentic in who you are. Know what kind of a relationship you want. Know what your passion is so that you can get out there and produce your passion to other people. And you can earn in that area. Whether you're making money in a career or you're doing the passion, doing your soul's purpose as a project, it is up to you what your specific situation is. But that is what's going to uh, going to excel you, okay? It's like an accelerated uh, ramping moment for Capricorn. And it is going to be very, very beautiful. Look for the synchronicities around you. The color of orange is very, very big deal around Capricorn. Now, it's kind of a brown orange. I'm going to call it a rust, okay? Like a rust color. This color may be coming through. If you feel that you need a little bit of a boost, wear that color. It'll help ignite the passion inside of you and keep you locked into your earth sign and balance while you go forward. So you guys, I do hope this helps you and I wish you much love.